What's going on, fellow presidents of the United States? John Ryan here from IGN, and we're looking at the endings of Saints Row 4. Uh, now, before you get all upset and start yelling at your computers or typing in the comments, yes, this video contains spoilers because it's about the ending of a game. Uh, so just getting that public disclaimer out there. It's out there now. Deal with it. Anyways, like it would imply, this game has multiple endings. Now, this isn't to say that there's, you know, branching storylines or really impressive, huge, sweeping character arcs, because it's a Saints Row game. And, you know, it's Saints Row. It's just wacky and fun. But there are a couple of different endings uh, that you can get in this game uh, by either completing or not completing your crewmates' loyalty missions. So, the first ending you'll get, if you don't complete any of their loyalty missions, uh, you know, that's, you know, helping them out with some weird side quest that they want you to do. If you say, nah, screw that, you're on your own, and just go right into the final mission without doing any of those, this is the ending that you'll get. You can't kill me. My people will avenge my... Shut the fuck up! Take over a new home world. And so the Saints Empire was born. Alright, so that was pretty cool, you know. Not necessarily the most compelling ending ever crafted into a video game, you know. But it's an ending, you know. You save the universe, kill the bad guy, sit in a big comfy chair. The end. Uh, however, if you've completed all of the loyalty quests for all of your crewmates uh, going into Punch the Sharp, which is the grand finale mission, uh, this is the little bit more involved ending uh, that you'll get treated to. So check this out as well. Servant or what? Excellency, I'm Zinjai, your personal steward. All right, CJ, I need you to level with me. How technologically advanced are the Zin? In our experience, we are the most advanced culture in the known universe. Zinyak told a friend of mine that he could restore Earth. Was he lying? A half truth, Your Excellency. Earth has been atomized. There is no undoing that. However, time travel would allow you to see Earth again before its destruction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time travel? Zinyak was fascinated with Earth culture. He made it a point to go back and build a menagerie of his favorite humans. Don't tease me, Your Excellency. Let's go on a field trip. When the novelty of shaping history wore off, the saints remembered the words of Zinjai. Is this all of them? It's hard to say, Your Excellency. Zinyak was a long-time collector. And that, my friends, is how I first met the Saints. This is how we do it. It's also worth noting that that dance sequence uh, right before the credits is actually the same uh, in both endings, the only difference being what clothes your uh, your crewmates are wearing. Now, personally, I think that that's kind of just an excuse to get, you know, Kinsey back into that little hoodie number of hers, but I'm sure the Teenage Gamer Bros won't complain too much about that. As far as the endings go, I think the second ending is a lot more compelling, because, you know, the first one, it's fine, it's alright, 
you know, you're the king of space. Great job. That's cool. That's fun. Leaves the door open for a sequel, maybe. But the second ending leaves the door open for a sequel with so many more possibilities. Uh, because not only are you now king of space, but you also possibly have a time machine. Which, on the PS4 and Xbox One, that could be an amazing thing. Just imagine you taking the leader of the saints to, you know, the Greek, ancient Greece, or, you know, mid-century, mid-19th century England, or better yet, riding a dinosaur. That would be awesome. Uh, so, the only thing we can do right now is wait until Saints Row 5 inevitably gets announced. Uh, but until then, for everything else with Saints Row on the PS3, 360, and PC, that's that other platform I was just thinking of off the top of my head, you're already in the right place, IGN. Yeah.